there honeys, it's Audra and today I am going to be opening my very first Betty Boomerang Mid-Century Modern Retro Home Decor subscription box. Before we start, if you happen to like the content that I am creating here, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also click that little bell icon and you will be one of the first to know if I post a new video. So here we go with Betty Boomerang. First, a little bit about the company. Betty Boomerang was founded by a mid-century modern retro loving gal named Maya from California. She started putting together the boxes by searching for retro-inspired artists and centering around a theme for each box, putting together all of these little unique bits and sending them out to everyone. So at the time of my purchasing, Maya is no longer making new parcels. She is sending out ones from her vault. So the most popular boxes that she has sent out over the years, she is still sending those. You can absolutely still get a subscription for those. It is a bi-monthly box. You get it every two months. It is $50 a box for four or so retro items fitting whatever theme it is. I scoured the internet looking for a subscription box that was pretty much basically Betty Boomerang um, and wasn't really able to find anything that was quite of the caliber that Betty Boomerang seemed to be with home decor items specifically and items that you could use not just apparel but stuff that you could actually put around your house or use at your desk um, that could bring a little bit of that retro flair to just your daily life in general. So this is my first box and I'm going to see what we have in here. I'm pretty positive I'm going to lose my mind over it. Okay, opening it up, more tissue paper. As I mentioned in my last video, I love tissue paper. So here is the box. What do we have in here? Oh my God. I love the whole like atomic art. That's what, probably my favorite thing about mid-century modern style. And here are some silicone spatulas with, this is so great, my kitchen. I'll have to show you guys a picture of my kitchen sometime. Uh, it is the teal blue, all of the accent pieces are teal blue. And uh, these will match so perfect. I wanted a mid-century modern kitchen without going too mid-century modern just to, you know, respect that it is not just my house. <laughs> not that my husband doesn't like it, but I think that too much of it, especially when I've already like taken over so many other spaces, would be unfair. <laughs> so these are so fun. I cannot wait to use these. They seem really good quality. Like they're pretty pretty solid. It's wood here and then it looks like the wood continues up so there's no metal in this. And then the silicone which I must use for my pans otherwise they get scratched to hell. Cannot wait to use these. So already that is that is perfect. I am so excited. What is next? Okay so we have a box of retro pens. I'm forever misplacing my pens. They are all over the house. And we end up, usually when I end up finding one, it's empty somehow, like we don't throw it away. It's like the pen curse. I always need more pens and these are super cute and will match my office so well. I cannot wait to use them. Next, next, next. Today's plan of action, a little notepad with a, a daily planning theme to it and that is great because I love making lists, I love making notes, I every day it starts out with my planner and I mean even while being stuck in the house with not a lot of things going on, uh, I still have to have, I still have to somewhat plan my day so I know what's going to be going on otherwise I just sit around and be like oh god there's so, so many things to do, what do I do first? So must do today or else like what's on the menu. <laughs> I don't cook. Nope. My husband cooks. I bake. I will bake anything always and forever, but I, I just do not have cooking talent. That is my husband. Thank God. 
household chores that need doing, all of them, and then the writing tomorrow's plans, and, and it's so cute and fun, and I love the colors. Next, 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 a fun little notebook with all of those great colors, and this is a dot notebook. Uh, again, notebooks is another thing that I'm always using and always needing and always looking for one, um, and these colors are super fantastic. Actually, I really like these colors for the nursery. Though I don't need a notebook in a nursery, I guess, unless I'm writing down like baby needs. I don't know, I will figure it out. And the last item in this box is something that I have been actually looking into doing for fun. Just haven't quite gotten there yet. And it's paint by numbers. This is a paint by number mid-century modern house. So that is the cutest thing and it will look so cute when it's done, just kind of hanging out um, somewhere. I will find I will find a place for it because that is way too cute. So you have the paint by numbers in the back and then all the paint that you need. So this is fun. It seems like this this theme, this box theme was um like arts, crafts, office stuff, home items. I love these. I love these so much. She sells these, by the way, separate on her website. So you don't have to get the box to go and get these amazing spatulas. First box, I am super pleased with. I like, I like everything in there and I'm going to use everything in there. So there's nothing that won't get enjoyed. So my first Betty Boomerang box experience was a success, vanity approved, and now I cannot wait. I have to wait two months. Now, that's tough. That's what's hard about subscription boxes, especially ones that you really like, is that you have to wait. Normally it's only a month, but those the bi-monthly and quarterly boxes can really get you with the waiting. So I'm super excited to, to see what's gonna be in the next vaulted Betty Boomerang box. I think it was very lovingly curated and obviously she spent a lot of time looking for some of the best options to fit that whole mid-century modern flair that so many of us are really looking for right now. So again, vanity approved, and I cannot wait to see what is in the next box. And also, if you know of any other retro subscription boxes that do mid-century modern, uh, or even specifically like atomic art type stuff, I would love to know. If you know what that is, you just send it my way, and I will try it out. So next time, I have to check my pull out of here, because like I said, so next time I'm going to be doing a quick little video on how to tie a headscarf um, in a vintage, in a sort of vintage way. I'll go over uh, square scarves, how to handle silky scarves that like to slip and slide. I will go over tucking, which is the probably the hardest part for the 1940s style, especially if you get a really short square scarf. Anyway, I'll go over a couple of those styles and how I personally tie them. Um, being more of a newbie at it, I am going to be able to give you kind of a different view than a total expert who's just like shoop, 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 shoop would be able to. So that's it for today. Until next video, stay well. Bye.